feed accounts for around 60% of total production cost of your tilapia farm. Your feed strategy is essential to get the best efficiency out of the feed on your farm. In this tutorial, we provide guidance towards the most optimal use of your feeds in every stage of growth. Young fish are very fast growing. They have a small stomach which fills very easily and the feed needs to be digested fast in the most efficient growth period. Therefore, the composition of our cow tilapia feeds are adjusted to the development stage of the fish. The younger the fish, the higher the feed efficiency, meaning that a young tilapia grows more out of one kilogram of feed compared to an older tilapia. The feed conversion ratio is therefore lower and better compared to the FCR of an older fish. The feed conversion ratio FCR is calculated by dividing the quantity of feed with the weight of fish. Growth is a result of feed quality multiply by feed quantity. The higher the feed quality and intake, the higher the growth. The lower the FCR, the higher your feed efficiency. Your fish should be able to consume the feed you are giving them. This is why we provide an assortment of different pellet sizes. Which size to use? Sample your fish and determine your average size. Keep in mind, smaller fish cannot consume a large pellet. As a rule of thumb, a fish can consume a pellet which is smaller than the size of its eye. So, you need to look your fish in the eye. Uniformity in the size of your fish makes switching to the next pellet size easier. Moving on to the next pellet size will allow you to use feeds that are less costly and better adjusted to their development. Take care not to change to a bigger pellet size too soon. The fish must be able to consume the feed otherwise the fish will starve or the pellet gets stuck in their mouth. Correct amounts are important because if you overfeed your fish, you will be wasting feed. Wasting feed means wasting money. Cowdai specialists prepared a feeding table on water temperature and oxygen level and growth stages. This table can be found on our aqua website or ask your representative. Based on the fish size, you select the correct feed code. Now, you need to determine the correct amount of feed for your fish per day. You feed your fish a certain percentage of their body weight. This percentage varies best on water temperature. In the same feeding table, you can check the recommended feeding frequency. Divide the total calculated recommended daily quantity into portions by the feeding frequency. Now, you have your daily portions ready for feeding. Always bring an extra portion with you when you go to feed your fish in the cages in case they have an increased appetite. Fish are called blooded species and need a bit of time to warm up. Therefore, start to feed at least one hour after sunrise. The final portion should be given two hours before sunset. Spread the remaining feeds equally throughout the day. Cast feed over a wide area of the cage. This will allow all fish to feed equally and promote uniformity in size. This will fetch the best price when selling your harvested fish. When feeding in too small an area, the fish that are strongest and biggest will protect this area for themselves and thus increases the size variation among your fish. Cowdice feeds are designed to float on the water surface. This helps you to determine fish appetite. If the fish are still very active around the feeding area, it means they are still hungry. You can feed a little extra. When the activity at the feeding area stops, discontinue additional feeding. Keep in mind, the fish may eat less than the recommended amounts due to environmental factors like weather conditions. Always observe the activity of your fish to fine-tune your feeding. This way, you limit over or under feeding and obtain the most profitable outcome. Would you like to know more about feeding strategies for your farm? Then go to the website of Cowdice. Our specialists are happy to help you.